This might just be the best clutch pedal kit on the market right now for a Lexus GS300 or um, Toyota Aristo. I'm going to go over this. It looks like a mess, but I'm going to break it down and describe what we're looking at here. This is a clutch pedal kit from uh, Heat Lightning Speed Shop. And uh, it's a little pricier compared to the competitors, but there's some very good benefits to this specific uh, pedal kit. Um, first off, which you'll notice here is this big brackets that they custom make um, for it to be a bolt-in application. There's no drilling necessary. Typically with a clutch pedal kit, when you install in a car that isn't, you know, obviously equipped with a manual. Because uh, this is basically what this is for. It's for a conversion, uh, converting auto to manual. This is a bolt-in bracket that mounts the pedal, you know, under the uh, the steering column or whatever. There's because typically you got to drill holes and mount the pedal to the firewall. You have to drill holes and mount the master cylinder, and the master cylinder usually protrudes into the engine bay through the firewall, and that might be uh, an issue with room. Might not have room in the engine bay for that. But anyways, this whole kit is designed to be super like slick, uh, discreet, no modifying. Literally, the only thing. Or things you have to feed through the firewall is the hose from the master cylinder to the reservoir and the uh, line from the master cylinder to the slave cylinder that's all you have to feed through the firewall and that could be just fed through the factory grommets so you don't have to actually drill a hole you can feed it through existing holes in the body uh, so what we're looking at here everything is willwood components the pedal master cylinder reservoir everything is willwood uh, looks like they fabricate the bracket in-house. This is what makes it a bolt-in. It, it looks like it mounts to three mounting points. It's got a bolt hole here, here, and there uh, to make it real secure. And this is thick. This is um, thick construction here, so it's, there's going to be no flexing. Um, so here's our pedal. It's a one-piece construction Willwood pedal. It's aluminum. Here's our actual... Uh, pedal it's not screwed down uh tight it's got some play but i did notice how it has uh the ability to mount off center hit this is center with these holes extra holes you can mount it off when it's to the left uh, off one way to the right if you don't like exactly how it sits you do have a little bit of an adjustability there uh, left or right um let's see and th this isn't typical of what you would see like i said the master cylinder this is called a reverse mount the master cylinder is literally reverse mounted because typically it goes the other way into the firewall on into the engine bay but this way everything is concealed under the dash everything is hidden away nothing you don't have to worry about it protruding into the engine bay or how to get that to line up or mount that um and also i guess it does keep the engine blaze engine bay slightly cleaner it's one less thing to look at under the engine bay. The only thing from this clutch pedal kit that is in the engine bay is your reservoir. And it's such a small and discreet reservoir. It's not even a big deal if you are worried about that. And this kit honestly came with such great instructions. Like, they, you could literally, I'm not going to show you, but they printed out the instructions like the day I ordered it. And it came with this packet with everything broke down parts, every bolt, nut, part, everything is itemized with colored instructions on exactly how to assemble it how it's going to look where the reservoir is going to go reservoir mounts right there next to the uh, brake fluid reservoir it almost if it weren't for being so clean and white it looks factory like if it was yellow and aged like that brake fluid reservoir in the picture it, you wouldn't know any better it looks factory um, that and the fact that it says uh even the cap says well would like everything is quality on this kit everything is name brand i really like this car i didn't want to cheap out and do like a um, a budget clutch pedal kit i wanted to get the best on the market and i feel like this is pretty much the best you can get uh not that the other options won't work but this is just gonna be uh the easiest less less um hassle way of doing a clutch pedal kit i guess because you know obviously they made it to be bolt in and no drilling no fabricating None of that. Um, and they threw in so many stickers. I kind of freaked out with how many stickers they threw in. Every car guy loves stickers, right? Pretty cool. Um, let's see here. I can kind of go to the, go over the instructions. Is it broken down? 
you do have to assemble it. It comes in individual parts like the, the pedal, master cylinder, the bracket. Obviously, they break it down to break it down to make it easier to ship. Uh, just in a couple seconds, I was able to kind of somewhat piece it together. That thing's tight, but um, the pedal goes through the bracket like that. So it's got two bolts here that's going to secure the pedal bracket to the little mounting bracket. It's got two bolts and nuts here for the master cylinder. Actually, these are studs. You slide the master cylinder over the studs, and then you've got your two nuts securing that. And then here... No hardware is included for these for these two side mounting points and the one over here. I'm assuming it's going to use factory mounting hardware. That's going to be interesting when I get to that point. I don't know if I'm going to have to buy hardware for that. But with the quality of this kit and how well thought out everything is, I'm assuming I'm going to be able to use bolts that are already there and existing. But if I, if, if I even do have to purchase longer bolts, it's not a big deal. Um, in my next video, I'm going to be installing this and show you the ins installation process. But look how tight of clearance this is between the bolt and the reservoir. Like nothing here is interfering with one another. Everything is very thought out, perfectly designed to work together. I can't wait to get this installed on the car and see how well it actually mounts up. Excuse the mess. This is like a not very uh, organized or thought out video. I'm just kind of showcasing almost like an unboxing. I just took this thing out of the box, put it together and kind of showing um, what comes in this heat lightning speed shop clutch pedal kit. Anyways, I think that's going to be just about it for this video. Um, probably this weekend. Actually, it's going to freeze this weekend. So I don't know. I'm going to be installing this clutch pedal kit. So stay tuned for that. It's going to the GS300. Thanks for watching. Later.